hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing a laravel 9 e-commerce series and now guys in this video we are going to learn how to update the order status okay so guys now let's get started so let's view this order and inside this order we will keep a drop down option and we will be updating its order statuses okay so yep guys now let's move to this view order so let's go to that web.php and here you see order order id that is show and let's move to that order controller and here is a show function let's go to this blade file view blade.php and this is my order details so my order details page is available over here perfect so now guys let's get below at this and design a simple form so yep here is the card body starting and let's close this card itself and begin with the new card design okay and then and let's tell order process order status updates okay so now now guys let's create a div with the row and then column md5 and then a simple form with the method post and action is going to be filled with the url of the same url we are going to use let's copy this and paste here so we are in already in the same page so what we can do we can get the dollar order of id okay so this order variable we are getting from the controller itself which is we have passed in the compact function right so that variable only i'm using okay and now let's if you are submitting or updating any data you need to send a csrf token add the csrf and we will be using method put to update the data label label update your order status okay and use a select select option and this id let's make it to class and form select and before this i just wanted to design in an input group okay so let's make it input group and then guys let's move this inside and now let's open the option and all the options we are going to copy from the filter thing okay so let me just copy and paste that so these are my options let me copy and paste here select order status all done and now guys inside this select let me minimize this and here we will make the button so button that is going to be named as update and update the class name button button primary text white and this button type it's going to be type equal to submit done and the form here ends and now guys in next column md6 not 6 let me make it to 7 and here we will break the line and then add a h4 tag use a class margin top 3 and then order status colon show the order current order status okay so you can add like current order status let me keep that order status in capital text upper case and here you will show your order status message okay so this dollar of status message is nothing but this column okay so this is your status message so we are going to update this only let's get back and now guys coming back to your form inside the form select we have to create order underscore status 
let's copy this and when you submit you go to this route so we have to create this first let's go to web.php copy and paste the above same guys and here you use a put method and everything is going to be same here you need to create a function with the name or update order status let's copy and go back to your order controller and then create a function with the name update order status and first data you are going to get integer that is order id and then second data request of dollar request so you copy this and again and then let's type the query so let me just copy from above guys let's copy and paste here so first step we will be checking that order id exists or not if exist then we are going to update it so let's take this and paste here order of update function where you pass the array inside this array you need to get the status underscore message and inside this message you pass your data so what data we have already got in the request so let's get this request of what is the input name let me just copy that select option name attribute we will copy this and paste here so we got the data and now let's remove this and use redirect function with the message message where you'll be mentioning like order status updated okay and then you're going back redirection should be changed admin order and get this order id let's copy this and send back to that same order id let's copy this guys and paste here inside your redirect function that's it so once updated it should go back to the same page now guys you need to copy this and get back to your view blade.php and then go on the top and show that in a if condition what you are going to show you are going to show the message so use the session function of message and you need to show in a alert so alert alert success okay here you paste session of message that's it and we can give a margin bottom three space save it and now guys get back and refresh and you see that order status message is in progress and now here you move here is our option but this is like let me just add a border get back to the form let me minimize everything here i add border and margin top three save it and now refresh cool looks fine guys and now let's update this so right now you can see current order status it's in in progress now i just wanted to make it to completed this order id six should be completed okay let's click update you see that order status updated and here you see order status message is completed that means this order is delivered current order status completed if you want to change you can change also pending cancelled out for delivery whatever you want you can update that so guys we have successfully completed with our order process that is order status updates and in this video that's it so guys now let's continue next video with the new topic of laravel 9 e-commerce so thank you for watching this video guys please subscribe like and share